Hello everyone. This tutorial is to demonstrate the usage of T file list component along with T flow to iterate and T iterate to flow components in telling open studio for data integration. Let's understand why and in what situations we will need these components. T file list can be used to merge the data of multiple files having same schema and same file mask into a single file or into a database. It can be used to merge the data of files having extensions .xls, .xlsx, .csv, .txt, etc. These components iterate over the files present in a given folder. The file list will not iterate the files recursively. However, if you want to merge the data of multiple files in a single file instead of database, the output file will have the data from the last read file only instead of the merged data. To solve this problem, we must use two new components that are tflow to iterate and titerate to flow. These components will iterate all the files and store all the data in a single output file. More specifically, tflow to iterate will process the files one by one and titerate to flow will store the data till all the files are processed and the data from all those files has been fetched. To illustrate the use of these components, I have four CSV files having attendance details of members of Rajya Sabha session wise, each file having around 230 to 240 rows. All these files with the same schema and same file mask are present in a folder named T file list component. Now let me show you the data in one of these files. So here it is and there are around 240 rows. Okay, so now to merge the data of all these CSV files present in one directory in a single folder in a single Excel file, we need to follow these steps. So let's start with it. Start Talent Open Studio and create a new job and name it. Say I'm naming it here as T file list. Now at T file list component. Okay, so here it is T file list component. Now configure the basic settings of T file list. Browse the directory where the desired files to be merged are stored. So here in our case, we'll browse the folder which is present in D drive. Okay. In the file mask, mention the type of the files with their extension. In our case, we'll mention it as .csv. Thus, all the CSV files present in a given location will be read one after the another. Also, change case sensitive to no instead of yes. Okay, that's it for this component. Now, select T file input delimited and connect it with the T file list component using the iterator link. Okay, so here I'm using the iterator link. Now, I am using T file input delimited because I have .csv files. After this, I'll configure the properties of this component. In the file name, I'll browse or I'll write the global variable. I'll specify the global variable which will fetch current file that has iterated and it will be something like this. String global map dot get current file path. You can also browse it from the left side panel. Okay, after that change field separator as comma instead of semicolon. Row separator as slash n. And now I'll take the schema from the repository. As I've already created the schema for the Rajya Sabha, I'll take the metadata and click on OK. Oh, one important thing, I'll change header to 1. Okay, that's it. Now, add flow to iterate component and connect it with the previous component. 
okay so here it is flow to iterate we don't need to change any property for this component we'll leave it as it is now add t iterate to flow and we'll use again the iterator link and connect it with the flow to iterate component okay now we'll configure the properties I use the same schema as I had used for the T file input delimited. I'll take the metadata, click on OK, that's it. Okay, now as you can see, the values for all the columns is global map dot get current file. This will return object, but here we don't need object. So we need to cast it to the required data types. Okay, so we'll cast it according to the return types of the columns. So here the serial number is in the form of integer. So we'll cast it accordingly. Again, the important thing between the inverted commas and the braces, what we are supposed to write is the row one dot the name of the column. We need to remove current file return in the braces and we need to write row one dot the name of the column. Okay, the next thing we have here is division seat number, which is again an integer. So we will cast it accordingly. We'll give it integer. Okay. Now the name of the member is in string. So give it a string data type. Okay. Here, the columns from date and to date, we are having date values. So we need to cast it accordingly. For that, we have inbuilt Java function that is java.util.date, which can help us to cast the objects into date. Okay, that's it for this component. Now we need to add T file output Excel. And this is where we will get all the merged data from the four files we have seen before we'll connect it okay now we we'll configure it okay in the file name give the name of the file you want to give and in whichever the directory you want to store here i am giving it name result dot xls in d drive okay i'll uh, mark XLS 2007 format and include header. You can also name change the name of the sheet if you want to, but that's okay, that's not required. Okay, now mark all the columns to auto size. Okay, now run the job. Okay, so the job is building. Okay, connected. Two forty executions finished. Okay, disconnected. Great. And uh, now we'll see the combined sheet here. As we can see, we have got. 942 rows in the output sheet in the combined sheet now let's check the sheet in d drive we have named it as result so here it is the result xls so here it is now let's check the number of rows here we are having 943 rows including the header row that means 942 rows we have got as the combined data so that's it we have used tfiles component for combining or to merge the data of the files having same schema and same file mask so thank you for watching this video thank you